knockout fights. Ladies and gentlemen, universally recognized as pound for pound, the best fighter in the world today. The former lightweight world champion. The former super lightweight world champion. And the reigning undisputed, undefeated, world-weight champion of the world. And, you know, opportunities like this come, you know, 
once in a lifetime sometimes. We might have it today, we might not have it tomorrow. And you know, all the respect to Team Crawford for taking a tough fight because I think this is going to be a real, real competitive fight. And I, I hope that, uh, you know, Terrence Crawford is going to 154 with all the confidence that he's been in all the other divisions as well. You know, as Eddie always said uh, before, he always said that uh, Matt Dumont is a top prospect, you know, one of the best prospects uh, in the world. He said that publicly before and I, I believe that now it's all proving uh, and, and Israel is here to make a point and show everybody what he's made of. I think, uh, you know, and, and another point, is that after the Uzbekistan situation, when I told Madrimov and the guys that the fight's going to be in Los Angeles, um, they said, you know, this is, this is no different from Uzbekistan because uh, Joel Diaz, Tony Diaz, uh, Israel has been training in Indio, California, basically every camp, I think every camp is trained up there. So this is like a second home for him. And he was even more excited about that than anything else. And, you know, this is, this is him basically defending his title in his second home and uh, we're looking forward to this fight. I just want to make sure that uh, nobody forgets that. When uh, His Excellency uh, Turkey al wants to fight, he wants two top guys fighting each other, no matter what division it is. And uh, we have to remember that I think the reason this fight is happening is just because uh, him and Dr. Rafan and you know, the entire team, they wanted the best possible fight for Terrence Crawford, and I think that's what he's going to get. Yeah, well said, but hey, uh, let's go to Terrence Crawford's trainer. Uh, Brian McIntyre, oh well, man, uh, so far so good, oh well, man, right? Everyone that's trying to step up to Terrence Crawford, you've done a game plan, and you've been able to win every single time. How does this challenge differ, maybe because of the weight change? Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for everybody, uh, you know, all the promoters and guys that, you know, put on the show. We uh, appreciate the, you know, the challenge. Um, this is it's a tough fight, man. It's a tough fight. Told, told the team and Terrence that, you know, we got to be laser focused on what is happening. I've uh, been watching them since the amateurs when we fought uh, on the state of the um, So, you know, I know what he brings to the table. And I definitely know his, uh, his team and his trainers are going to do They always train hard. They got great champions coming out that camp. Uh, you know, we up for the challenge. Because one thing we have, we have an issue. We're trying to unify. We're trying to understand. Again. So right now we're looking at him like you know a good challenge, but overall he just in the way. Was there any maybe fault uh, about maybe just stepping your toes in the 154 pound division <laughs> against an elite guy, like maybe not a world champion, just to see how Terrence looks at 154? Well, you know, uh, um, I'm sure we, we all feel like this. I know Bud feel like this <laughs> is uh, in order to uh, be the best. He must be the best. And so, so far, he's the best at 154, and um, that's what we're looking for. So, you know, we pound for pound number one, and then we're going to continue uh, from 54 to 60, 68, or whatever. You know. so, we ready. Terrence certainly looks ready. I know you have Terrence ready as well. Let's speak to the fighters. I want to start with the champion first, Israel Medjugorje. Israel, I was in Riyadh as you destroyed Kirby off. Up next is a man that you know is the pound for pound number one fighter on the planet. Was there any hesitation in taking this fight? So,
there's, uh, there's no hesitation because uh, this is what I've been here in Watson for. And as soon as I heard the news, I was very happy. I, I knew right away that I wanted this. Terence Crawford, we all know, unbeaten, um, a free weight world champion. You want to watch his fight against Aaron Spence, which was supposed to be a 50 50 fight, Israel. And then he dominated Aaron Spence. What do you think you can do to get the W? Israel, он в крайнем бою, в 50 на 50 бою, который ожидали, он избил, легко победил Карла Спенса. Ты, скорее всего, видел этот бой. Что ты думаешь об этом бою и чего ты ожидаешь в бою? Yeah. <laughs> 
all the respect and credit, but the main point is that they know this sky is the roof. But what one man said is 100% right. At the moment, this is the best 154 pounder in the world, the Israel Metropolitan. And he would give it everything. You're not talking about a guy that's past his best, who's had injuries, who's tired of weight. You're talking about a fresh fighter that is in his absolute mind in Israel Metropolitan. So he's ready for war with Los Angeles. Final one from both fighters, Israel. You've got a fantastic knockout record. Are you expecting to stop Terrence Wolf? Come on over the little weakness. You know, this is passing. Uh, but uh, uh, I try it, I do. And Terrence, not many people are seeing the final bell when they fight yourself. Is almost just expecting that you do get the knockout as you always do. Well, I always tell everybody I never go in a ring looking for the knockout. But if I smell blood and stare, you're out of here. Good luck to both of you. All this for a fantastic day today. Um, I'm going to be in the next one. I'm going to be in the next one. Prove them wrong again, bro. Keep yeah, doing your thing, bro. Keep doing your thing, bro.